next, a UFC lightweight division bout. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and to say he has put Dublin, Ireland on the MMA map has got to be the understatement of the century. McGregor has vaulted into superstardom, former UFC featherweight champion, UFC lightweight champion, the only simultaneous two-division champion, and has become the biggest superstar mixed martial arts has ever seen in UFC history. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. makes the walk such a well-rounded fighter and you got to think when the opponent breaks him down on film not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video this is a true mixed martial artist may not stand out in any one area but plus skills across the board probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight this guy has outstanding defense and having that type of skill knowing that you can protect yourself and yet still land devastating blows of your own it is a distinct advantage and now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap more than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, her team. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! All round in the UFC lightweight division. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now, introducing his opponent, this man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, the Great! You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this morning. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go Wait, down fight. right fight. now. Here we go. Well, how about the buzz in this arena as the notorious... Oh! Oh! Take him in the face! Nice jab. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Huge uppercut misses. Yes. 
There's a hard leg kick by Connor. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, he lands that tee. How about that shin? Connor with that is there, Joe. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Nice punch by McGregor. Tries to move to half guard, but can't. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. And Izzy as he looks to improve position here. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. That's a nice clean shot. Let's see if he can pass that half guard. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Right hand forward now, switching to southpaw. Nice inside leg kick landed there by McGregor. Straight right hand, no good. Well, he's doing a nice job keeping the guard up, but that usually means the body is wide open, and his opponent wisely saw that and landed the straight hand to the body. Let's see if he shores some things up here defensively to prevent that fate moving forward. Out of range with that one. Oh, and he connects there. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by McGregor. Look at that nasty jab. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, nice. Up against the cage here now. Hard shot from the clinch. Ten seconds to go in round one. Tying him up here in the clinch. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Here's a huge kick that stuns. Here's a powerful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Ariane Celeste is holding it down. striking style. Throws a lot of wild kicks, has some excellent knockout power as punches, and has a very strong ground game as well. And he eats a right hand there. See the total strikes. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. He landed that punch flush. There was a nice exchange. Throwing that jab, no good. McGregor's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. Lands a strike there. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Constantly a moving target. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by McGregor. Just misses there with the left. Connects with the punch there. Well, he's laying. Oh, he got it. He got it. This could be it right here. Misses with the right hand. Joe, pretty well played there to avoid the clinch. He's looking for that left hand. 
Not there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. McGregor going for the left kick. He misses. Oh, flip him with the jab. He's in, He's in trouble right now. And he's looking for that left. Nice head kick. 45 seconds remain in the round. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. That one hurt. Nice. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Oh, Ten minutes in the books. All right, hey, hey, come on in, come on in. Great finish to that round. Give him some water, give him some water. Listen, that was a great finish to that round. Now, let's start off quick. Here we see it from another angle. Let's see it one more time. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. Third round underway. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Vicious combinations. Oh, straight right. Oh! Huge shot there, Lance Flush. Big shots. Man. We show you the total strikes. How about that shin? Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Block with all the oh. shots coming to us. He's got him right here. Wow! wow. Oh. Back up to his feet. And now starting to snap off that jab. Try to establish oh. that jab. Oh. He tagged oh. him. He tagged him. He's hurt bad. He's got him hurt here. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Take a look at this from a different angle. Crank right on the jaw. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by the first. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his.